Here are the five facts that you need to know before learning Turkish. So the order of Turkish sentences are different than English sentences. The basic word order of an English sentence is subject, verb, object. But in Turkish, the word order is subject, object, and verb. So let's see some examples. I love you. Ben seni seviyorum. Ben seni seviyorum. I'm eating chocolate. Ben çikolata yiyorum. Ben çikolata yiyorum. So at first, this word order might be a bit confusing for you. You might have some difficulty. After a while, you will get used to that and it's going to be easy for you. When learning Turkish, you don't have to worry about memorizing the genders of the nouns. Because Turkish nouns don't have genders. That's why learning vocabulary is a lot easier in Turkish than some languages like German. I remember I was learning German last year and it was quite hard for me to remember all the genders of the nouns and all the rules about the genders. So in Turkish, you don't have such a problem. And another good news for you is that Turkish pronouns don't have genders either. So in English, you say he, she, it, right? In Turkish, we just have one word for it, which is o. o. So, o can mean he, she, or it in a sentence. Turkish is an agglutinative language, which means that you're going to attach suffixes to make new words, to have new meanings in Turkish. Whereas in English, you add new words to make new sentences or to have new meanings. Let's see some examples. Okul. School, okulda, at the school, okuldayım, I am at the school. So in English you say I am at the school with five words, but in Turkish it's just one word, okuldayım, okuldayım. Or kitap, book, kitapçı, bookseller, kitaplık, bookshelf. So because of this feature of Turkish, you can make pretty long words like this one. Avrupalılaştıramadıklarımızdan mısınız? Are you one of those that we couldn't Europeanize? Well, of course, we're not using that kind of words in daily life. Don't worry. So Turkish is written as it is spoken. One letter in Turkish has only one sound and it never changes. So that means once you learn the sounds of the letters in Turkish, you will always be able to pronounce them as the same sounds that you learned in the first place. Whereas in English, the pronunciation of the letters can change sometimes, right? Let me give you some examples. So this is C. Do we always pronounce it as C in the words? Castle. K. Channel. Ç. Channel. C. Cinema. See, it always changes. But in Turkish, it never changes. This letter is J. Or its sound is j, j, and it's always pronounced as j. Let's see examples. Jeviz, Jan, Jiliz, Jeviz, Jan, Jiliz. See, it's always the same sound. So after you learn the sounds of the letters in Turkish, the only thing that you need to do is to connect these sounds. For example, araba, a, r, r, b, b, araba, araba. Okay? It's very easy. In Turkish, you don't need to use subjects in a sentence because we have personal suffixes that we add, that we attach to the verb roots and these suffixes indicate the subject. How? Let me give you an example. Ben gidiyorum. Ben gidiyorum. It means I'm going. Now, ben in Turkish means I. So it's a subject, right? But we don't need to use that because in gidiyorum, there's a personal suffix that we use to indicate the subject. That suffix is um. Gidiyorum by itself means I'm going. There's no need to use ben in the sentence. You are coming. Sen geliyorsun. Sen geliyorsun. So sen here means you. 
you, it's a subject. But we don't need to use that because when we say geliyorsun, it already means you are coming. You are coming. Because we have a personal suffix for you there. That's why you don't need to use subjects in Turkish. So I hope this video motivated you to start learning Turkish. I wanted to share the five interesting facts about Turkish language. If you liked the video, please don't forget to subscribe. I'll make many more videos about Turkish language. So if you're interested in Turkish, you can subscribe to the channel, you can follow me on Instagram, and please share if you know any other interesting fact about Turkish language in the comments below. Thank you for watching guys. See you in the next video. Görüşürüz. Bye bye.